Okay, so in this video, we want to take a look at different ways to get the computer uh, to make a move. Um, so we're going to start with a, kind of a very basic, simple approach, uh, which isn't very elegant, and we'll try a couple uh, other ways that become, you know, the code becomes more compact uh, and uh, I think more interesting. So basically, you know, if we're playing as the computer, okay, the computer, uh, the first thing the computer wants to do is the computer wants to win. Okay, so the computer is going to need to check and see if its next move is a win. Okay, so I want to show you what that looks like down here. So basically, if we take a look at this tic-tac-toe board, um, clearly you know, a human being can see that obviously it's going to go with number four. Okay, but how do we get the computer to decide that? Okay, so what we want to do is we look at the possible wins. So we can win this way, this way, this way, column one, column two, column three and the two diagonals. So I'm just going to go ahead and just for this exercise I'm just going to program uh, the columns and let you work on it from there. Okay, so basically what we want to do is we want to say if board one, which is the number one, the first column, equals in this case player, which would be O, board four, which is second one down, and board four equals player, and board seven equals, this is a more difficult one, it has to equal a space, otherwise we can't go there. Return seven. Okay, let's go over and take a look at that. So remember it's one, four, and seven. So one, four, seven. Actually, that one wouldn't work um, because the second one is empty. So the possible ways to win this, uh, well, of course, it's O, O, O. There's different combinations. I could have O here and O here. I could have O here and O here. Or in this case, I have O and O. There's actually three different things we need to check for that column. Let's go back. Um, I'm just going to make my life easy. I'm going to copy that. Okay, so... 1, 4, 7 equals space, uh, 1, 4, 7, and then board 1 equals the space, return 1. And then this is the case that we have now, 1 equals player, uh, 7 equals player, and board 4 equals the space. So we return 4. Okay. So in this case, so if we get to this code, it's going to take a look at okay, board 1 and board 4 are the player, board 7 is the space. Um, do we have that? No. So we have 1 is the player, 7 is the player, 4 is the space. So you can see right there, if we followed this pattern out, um, we would have to do the same thing. If I copied this, For each column. So this would be 2, 5, 8, 5, oops, 8, 5, 8, 2, return 2. So you can just see how this code is going to get longer and longer. Um, but let's play it out to the end here. Um, so 2, Eight and five, return five. And then for that third column, we're going to need to do three, six, and nine. So this is going to be three, six, nine, return nine. This is going to be six, nine, three, return three. And it's going to be three. Nine, six, return six. Okay, so you can see how just for column A, we've got nine different if-then statements. So just to do this, we've got nine different if statements. Now again, there's other ways to do it, but this, this is one way we're going to look at. Um, so you can see, just to do the columns, we're going to need nine statements. Then for the rows, we're going to need nine more statements. That's 18. 
if I do the diagonals, 1920. So basically, we could have a big long list of 20 if statements, um, which will work. It's, it's not a big deal. We, we could do that. Um, but we want to do something a little bit more efficient. We're going to optimize this just a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to see here there's a pattern. Uh, there's definitely a pattern in this data. So basically, if I got 1, 4, 7, so the, the distance between 4 and 7 is 3 in each case. So 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 3 is 8, 3 plus, 6, uh, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9. So knowing that, I can use that information uh, to shorten up my code a little bit. So let's go back and take a look at that. So what I would do for i, use i as an index, uh, in, and our range is going to be 1, uh, 2, and 3. We'll see why in a second. Well, actually, I'll just explain it. Uh, if I go back to here, because I'm testing columns, so each column starts one, two, or three. Okay, so that's the first number of the column. So I go back, I'm going to get rid of this. What I want to do, so if I've got, in this case, one is I, I plus 3 and oops, I plus 6. Okay, so if I've got I is 1, 4, 7. That's the same thing. 1, 4, 7, 1, 4, 7. So all I have to do is I just need to go back and fix up the code like that. So this is going to be i plus 3, this is going to be i plus, oops, i plus 6, and this is going to be i. And return i, this is going to be i, i plus 6, and i plus, plus 3, and return i plus 3. Don't forget, we need to indent this. Okay. So what we do here is we see we start out i is 1. So if board 1 equals player and board 4 equals player and board 7 is a space, we're going to return 7. Okay. Then we would do the next possible option, you know, so on and so forth. So 4, 7, 1, and then 1, 7, 4. Now, when the loop goes, let's say there isn't a winner, a loop comes around, we've got 2. So it's going to be 2, 5, 8. If I go back to my board, 2, 5, and 8. And then the same thing will happen with 3, 6, and 9. So this will check all the columns for a win. Now, of course, you can go through and do the same thing for the rows. Um, diagonals, you can just do in, uh, maybe individually because it's harder to get a pattern out of those. But uh, yeah, give it a shot. Um, so you can see how this definitely, you know, what used to be nine lines of code um, is now, well, actually, 18 if you count, you know, one, two, three. Um, so we've cut it down basically, you know, in a third, basically to a third of, of the size, which, which is a good optimization. So you can see how you could extend that idea uh, for the rows. Instead of, of course, instead of i, i plus three, i plus six, if you go back, it's i, i plus one, i plus two. i, i plus one, i plus two, okay? And then in your for statement, you're gonna have one, four, seven, because that's the start of each row. Okay, so see if you can uh, get that working. Uh, that, that's a pretty interesting challenge and, and good practice. Yeah, I think we'll stop there for now.